Hello everyone. The Bible verse I'm sharing today is Psalm 145, 13 through 14. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. Well, this scripture reminded me of a viral clip that's floated around social media this past couple of years. This clip is of UCLA college basketball player, Moses Brown, who happened to throw a bad pass, resulting in his team losing possession of the ball while they were two points down. Disappointed, Moses walks away with his head heavy, hung down. Within seconds, his teammate, Jalen Hands, lifts up his chin. I imagine we've all been there, head hung heavy from shame, disappointment, and sadness. Well, when I first read this scripture, the word bowed down struck me. Most times I associate bowing down as bending down in complete awe and respect for God and worship. Thinking about it a little bit more, why would God lift somebody who is bowing down in worship? I don't think he did, or I don't think he would, because we are created to worship him. With that in mind, I was thinking he would lift somebody up that is bent over due to carrying heavy things. With that in mind, I also wanted to understand a little bit more about what uphold meant. It's not a word that we use commonly or every day or anything like that. The Hebrew word is actually samak, which means to support, brace, refresh, and revive. Just like that player, Jalen, who swooped in and pushed Moses' chin up, not only physically changing the direction of his head, but also Moses' vision. You can literally see Moses' spirit revived after getting that bit of support from his teammate. Within moments, he's raising his hands as if he knows victory is just around the corner. He goes from crestfallen to confident in what he can do and what the team can do. That team ended up rallying together and winning that particular game. And Moses Brown actually goes on to play for the NBA team, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Just like that, God is faithful to revive us as well after we have been crippled from so many things like doubt, fear, and anxiety. God wants to straighten us all out from anything that keeps us weighed down and bent over. He wants to provide the support that only he can to keep us straight in place. Sometimes we might fight against that. Straightening out a bowed wall is never easy. It does require getting down to the studs, which is not pretty and it's very messy. Let me encourage you today that if you feel the heaviness from the countless ways that life has this bent and stooped over, can I remind you that God will lift you up and relieve you of that? Not only will he lift you up and straighten you out, but he'll actually provide a security that braces you in his promises. And in that process, your entire spirit will be revived and refreshed. Before I go, I do want to challenge you to remember the crippled woman that Jesus healed in Luke 13. She too was bowed over and crippled in life. But Jesus called her over, laid hands on her, and straightened her out. And she glorified God. Remember that God is faithful and has promised to list lift us up every time we fall and stumble. He will keep his promise to straighten us out despite how twisted and gnarly and bent over we get. The best part is we will glorify God because of that. We will flip the script from us being bowed down in spirit from heaviness to bowing down, down in a spirit of worship, giving God all the glory he deserves. Thanks and have a blessed day.